Exactly. The move of the Dion Quince home is getting ever closer. It's moved a little bit already. The home is still near the old chamber location off Seymour, but has been uprooted and is going to be officially moved to its waterfront location on the weekend. A crew from Emsdale continues to make ready with the move of the Dion Quince home. It is moved from where it was located near the old chamber structure. It's still in that area, but it's now off the ground and ready to roll, but it won't be rolling for a few more days yet. Uh, I think uh, we were gone for about an hour and a half and they literally had moved it uh, into the parking spot, uh, parking lot area. So it's, uh, these, these guys are pretty good at and pretty quick at their jobs. And what are the crucial steps from what they told you of making sure that it doesn't collapse? Yeah, so they're, I, uh, as we were noticing, they're, they're doing a pretty good job of bracing everything. Um, and as it was done last time, uh, it was done in three parts. So uh, it's been designed and left that way. So when they do take off the roof, it's a matter of uh, basically loosening all the bolts that hold that uh, roof frame onto the, uh, onto the main uh, first level. There have to be concerns about moving a building of this age from one location to another. Lenny knows it could be, well, concerning. As it gets to the site, we want to make sure it's all intact. Uh, the city's done some uh, uh, studies, with engineering studies on it, and uh, it appears to be in pretty good shape, and they feel confident about the move. Sunday's the big day. What happens between now and Sunday? What happens on Sunday? Well, uh, it, it's all depending on weather, obviously, uh, but it looks like the weather is going to hold up for us. Uh, during the week, uh, tomorrow, they're supposed to be taking the roof off. Uh, the cranes are supposed to sh crane is supposed to show up on uh, Thursday. Uh, that's our last uh, uh, notice that we've gotten from the city, and they'll lift that uh, uh, roof area off, uh, section off into the uh, flatbed truck, and then uh, they'll, they'll take the uh, single-story part and, and lift it there. Jeff Fournier also dropped by on Tuesday to check things out in regards to the move of the Dion home. He was the earliest public proponent of keeping the home in North Bay and also played a key role in getting it moved to the waterfront. I asked him what emotions were going through his mind on this Tuesday. Yeah, we're just days away and uh, I mean it's a lot of things going through my mind. Relief <laughs> for one. Uh, but also, you know, a feeling of accomplishment. I mean, we started out with just a petition, a paper petition on October 15th of 2016. And uh, here we are today, uh, just days away from actually moving the home down to the waterfront. So it's, it's a good feeling. Did you ever think that it was going to go to strong or did you think you were going to be, pardon the pun, strong enough to prevent this? I wish I could say I knew all along that this is what was going to happen, but no, there were many times when I, I thought, gee, you know, it's not looking good here, and uh, but we just kept on persevering, and uh, you know, we had a lot of obstacles, but we overcame them, and I mean, thanks for uh, the help from a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people in the community, uh, you know, supported this in one way or another through you know, Facebook comments, letter writing to the to the mayor and council. Uh, it's, you know, a group effort, really. It took took me to, you know, kind of start it, I guess, but uh, you certainly can't do this type of thing alone. 